Hi everyone, today I'm going to demonstrate the Autolift 3000, fantastic new product available in the UK. I'm going to show you how easy it is to use this lift to lift a typical front wheel drive vehicle. There's a rule of thumb that applies. If it's a front wheel drive, front engine vehicle, what you would normally do is you would have the gearboxes of the 3000 towards the front wheels. So we're now going to pick this uh, VW Polo up and we're going to show you also how easy it is to tilt the vehicle once it's up in the air, which is a unique feature of the Autolift 3000. So here we go, watch this. We're going to use some riser bars to put on the platforms of the Autolift 3000 and the reason we are using these riser bars is because modern day cars tend to have a lot of plastic underneath uh, screens and things like that. We don't want to damage those so we're going to give ourselves just a little bit of extra distance between the main platform and the lifting bar itself to give us a bit of extra clearance. So I'm now going to place this riser bar underneath the car and I'm going to move it back just behind where the lip on the seal is and I'm going to go around to the other side and do exactly the same on the other side. Just checking to make sure that I'm in the right position. It always helps just to take a few extra seconds just to make absolutely sure that what you're doing and the points that you're going to be lifting from are the correct points. Also, always make sure that the lift itself is square and because this is very, very heavy at the front, what we're doing is we're having the gearboxes very, very close to the front wheels. That way we know we're on the center of gravity. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the electrical drill which drives the Autolift 3000 and we're going to raise the vehicle with the high torque electric drill. The drill tends to have a bit and that bit slots into a half inch drive. This bit is shearable. So if I go higher than what is required, this is likely to shear and it will stop any potential damage to the lift because these are cheap, whereas the lift is a lot more expensive. We don't want to damage the lift. Here we go. Slot the drive together with the drill and spin the drill in a clockwise direction on the up gearbox. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a safety check. I'm going to go around the other side of the car and just make sure that where I've positioned the riser bar is the correct place. Because my knees are old, I'm going to use a kneeling pad. Right. I'm happy with the position of that. We're now going to lift the vehicle. with the lift and the safety pin goes into this locking device here and this is a safety device to prevent the lift from being able to go down of its own accord. The design of the lift doesn't allow it to anyway but for homologation uh, and CE approval it has to have a safety device which I've connected to the cord of the drill. The reason I've done this is to stop 
me from being able to use the drill to drive it the the Autolift 3000 with it, the safety pin still in place and we can tuck the lift the drill inside there and remove the cord from the drill so everything's out the way for when we want to work on the car you can see that the lift has given me a very very good working height for the rear of the vehicle so anything that I wanted to do on the rear wheels to the rear of the vehicle uh, exhaust um, rear brakes anything like that is very very easily accessible and then of course once we finish working on the rear if we wanted to do things on the front of the vehicle we could simply tilt the vehicle so that the rear was then on the ground and the front of the vehicle in the air I'm just being gentle with the car because I don't want to damage it. So I'm just letting it down nice and gently. And if you have a look now, we have great access to the front of the car, suspension, wheels, whatever we want to work on around the front of the car. The versatility of the Autolift 3000 allows you to put an axle stand underneath one side of the car and actually have all four wheels off the ground if that's what you desire and that way you can have all four wheels off simultaneously to work on brakes or servicing or whatever you want to do. Thank you for your time uh, watching this video. We're going to do a series of videos showing you how the Autolift 3000 operates, its principles, its benefits